I'm hardly listening anymore, and I'm crying for joy. But Oakland looks at the screen suspiciously and waves his hand to me to be quiet. It takes several moments before I calm down, though on the inside I'm still bursting with joy. And then he begins to read the treaty. With every paragraph, my heart sinks. Every sentence, a tear falls. Every word shows me that this is not an occasion for joy, but a time for mourning. What have they done? What have our leaders agreed to? And then he comes to the part that changes everything about the world I once knew. In penance for their uprising, each district shall offer up a male and female between the ages of 12 and 18 at a public reaping. These tributes shall be delivered to the custody of the capital and then transferred to a public arena where they will fight to the death until a lone victor remains. Oakland and I look at each other with tears on our eyes. He is 17. I am 15. And if I know anything about the capital, they'll do something worse than just kill my parents for their crimes. They will kill us and make our parents watch. Henceforth and forevermore, this pageant shall be known as the Hunger Games. Suddenly, the door is kicked in, and a squad of peacekeepers are swarming around us. I scream out my brother's name, he screams out mine, and then a needle jabs into my arm, and everything goes dark. So that's chapter one of the first annual Hunger Games, my prequel slash fan fiction slash book thing. Um, yeah, so if you, I don't think, I don't know if they mentioned it in the first chapter, but just for a little elaboration, the story um, is from the point of view of a girl named Mally Totem, and you find out her surname later, uh, who lives in District 7 with her brother Oakland Totem. And her father and mother were um, District Rebellion leaders, and, you know, they were always in contact with District 13 and stuff. And basically, um, she was born, like, in the middle of when the war was happening. And then um, she just grew up constantly in a war zone. But um, Mally is not like Katniss in the sense that she isn't, uh, she doesn't know how to hunt or provide for herself or like anything like that. Um, she knows basics. She knows uh, basic self-defense. Um, but... More importantly, her skills that she has um, come from living in a war zone because, um, you know, the war was essentially happening in the districts, really. So she, she grew up in a war zone, so she knows how to hide. <laughs> She's, uh, her main characteristic, like her biggest strength is her intelligence. Um, and she, she's 15. And yeah. I mean, hopefully you don't already know what's going to happen, because I, I'm, I hope I have some good plot twists in there. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm actually pretty proud of it. I've gotten some good feedback. One girl on here actually said that after reading my thing, she hadn't read The Hunger Games, but after reading this, she might look into it, which made me feel happy that I could get Suzanne Collins some more publicity, you know, just by something that I made up and I have to go now but I will be posting another chapter of it maybe if you guys want I don't know um yeah there are um <clears throat> there are some things that I, I I based this I feel like more on things that were in the movie like the TV projectors at and the <clears throat> quote from the Treaty of Treason which was at the beginning of the movie, because I just felt like that was what more people knew, and the people who read the books would have also seen the movie and would have seen that, and then people who have never read the books would recognize it, and I just thought it would be a common ground. But I do have things from both. Um, so yeah, after I will be posting more chapters of this, and then after each chapter I'll be like elaborating on why I did what I did, just so you can get inside my head a little bit more. Um, why I made it in District 7 is because I'm in District 7 and 
Mystery 7 is pretty freaking badass, so, um, yeah, I guess that's it. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, please tell me if you did. Okay, bye.